from you guys as we get into our round number four. You can see the bus is ready, so let's get into this one. Let's do this. Match number four is underway, and we're already hopping in with Jamsai. That's one of the players that I was talking about here. He was so strong in those first two games. You know what's funny? They go paradise every single time, starting from the skirmishes. I remember competing against them in paradise. I was like, you know what? Nah, not really. They're super aggressive. I don't want to jump there. I don't want to have that early contest with them. They're, they're really pushy when it comes to the early game. They're bullying everyone who lands yeah. there. I talked to a lot of players who were kind of interested in dropping Paradise or Palms. All right, we'll see if Myth pushes with Cloud. He is. Okay, here we go. Myth going up. Actually, Maxalibur already has a little bit of high ground there. He's trying to, he's trying to get those clingers, but it's not going to work. Cloud is going to take him out, so it's just now on to Keolis. He's actually all the way away. Not sure where he's going. They were not together at all. They kind of got split. And that's really good, Lothar. Exactly what Cloud and Myth need to do. <laughs> By the way, that Klinger, did it hit him? No. Nope. Like his own one? But it was very close. Now, next fight between Hupek and Skix. It's two 1v1s here. Hupek on to 0 7 and Lil J on to Skix. They actually have Lil J pinched. If they realize this, Hupek can take great advantage of it. But no, 0, zero 7 is going to keep Hupek occupied and he dies. He goes down right there. Super low HP on Hupek was really looking, looking hard for him. But now this kick, will he redeem him? All alone, he needs to find at least Lil J right now. If he can find him, that's going to be the exact time he needs. There he goes, he gets the knock. He's going to be able to finish him, but here it comes. Zero seven. 7 he's coming through with that silence. He does get the finish, but that tactical shotgun doing so much work right now. Skix, just one finish. more shot he needs to get on there. And now, over towards this new area here. Include has actually down, or no, Marana already down. Include trying to pick him up. Seth has just a few seconds to get it. They do get the pickup, and he's going to be able to block him off. Nice play there. Seth all alone onto these two players. No builds available as well. He was trying to finish off the duo because he knew he has the advantage, but without any builds poss possible, he couldn't push the high ground. Yeah. Now we're switching back to Paradise between Virtus Pro. He also, Aim Hero here, has a launch bed just to have a backup plan if everything, everything goes badly. Oh. Now, Aiden is such an unfortunate position here. Nick Merckx needs to try to join him there. He is going to be able to do it. And they're going to fall back into the building. This is exactly what they always do. Unfortunately, this building is kind of small. So they're in a rough position. They need to try to back up. Look at Prism, though, getting that flank from the east. They're going on the hill. They have a really good angle yeah. towards um, the Koreans. Aim Hero actually realizes that. You can see he's already looking towards it. He's aware. He knows. Fight here. They need to kind of finish this off if they want the loot from Pleasant Park. It's not really enough for two duos. Here comes Coffee. Does get the nice shot. That is vivid onto Coffee. And this is a nice play here. And a very important one as well. Poach takes out Coffee. Now, all to find just Beehive. Let's see if they can survive here. Not sure where they do finish that Elim. There, so nice there shot. Just nicely. That's all about opening up the, the side walls and everything there. Right now. We're going to see a replay here. Cloud onto. This is the engagement early in Lonely Lodge. Cloud and Myth cleaning up Max Alibur. Killless got away. See, no, they didn't end up. Here's Sunny Steps. A nice shot from Seth. But no, the, the unique team taking him down. They win Sunny Steps here. It was in a really bad spot. No builds, couldn't block any shots, couldn't like just defend himself, basically. He's like, what, 5 HP? It's not what you want if you're 72 hours. This team, Isma and Lolito, he does go down the zone. Chap has to save. It's all on the Chap right now. Chap has to clutch it, then get the Took revive, the left. Yeah. yeah. That's the he decision. abandoned 72 hours, man. I mean, that that's a tough decision that sometimes you have to get, uh, you know, to choose from. Yep. And, uh, well, it's worth it. You need to play for placement. The, the point system rewards consistency. Exactly. EU is just on the edge of the top five. They're all ready. They're all ready to pounce. Just in striking distance. We talked about being in striking distance yesterday. You just triggered the chat, man. I did, yeah. Absolutely. It's not going to end. <laughs> Razzuri just finished Shinken. They did so well in the previous game. Shinken and Stompy up as well. You can see them in the background. Kinstar and Hunter as well. Vinny and Zexor still up. Nikoff and Airwax. This is one of the teams that we're looking out for. A lot of the players who were playing very, very well in practice. Look at all that loot. That loot is free real estate. I think that's Razzuri's spoils if he wants to go for it. No, well, Skix, Skix is going to get it. Pick it up. You know what's interesting? This. Tomo oh grabbing okay. Blacks there. That's Never a nice mind. pickup. Wanted to say something about the zone, but those shots connected so well. Kripa with the finish on the Byaksu from Last Stream. This is going to be... Oh. He's looking for it. He wants it. No, he's actually baiting it. He's going to try to take some shots on the motor now, but no, he has to block his black. 
I can't speak, but it's okay. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. But that window was actually very frightening to open since there were so oh. many people that could have looked at them. But now, Vilex with that nice... He just nice snuck spray. up on them with the silence SMG. He takes down Safta. Because no it's shield. silence, he was able to sneak up on them. <laughs> Sneaky player there, but again, Zayden Saf on high ground. This is what we always see. And remember, they have the Rift to go, as we saw had two earlier, and the launch pad. So they're in such good position. Oh, they like can straight jump down on that launch pad. So many players flying right now. Everybody using the mobility. Everybody using it, because it's just going over flat ground. It's not too much. But there's Mitro and Kuna taking high ground of their own. You see, Riox and Marky, see if they're going to be able to get over towards. No, they're going to fall. Oh, he takes so much damage. They didn't take lethal damage there. And that's something we've seen a lot of players who take a high ground a little too early. But there again, he gets knocked down. Not too much damage again. But Mitro and Kuna are starting to connect. Mitro the awesome has the build. rocket launcher and the dynamite. He will be able to control the high ground so well with Ooh. it. But he just lost it. But here we go. He has the RPG. He can still. Kuna is fighting. No, he's going to say, Kuna, please get down. I don't want to fight them. They're just too, too aggressive on this build fight here. Provoked and Tux on the <laughs> highest possible high ground. I don't know what's their inventory, but they can control it as well now. Zayton Saf still up. Zexor Vinny still up. I see as well. Mitro and Kuna, we already talked about them. Bizzles up. Nikoff and Airwax up. Tomo item as well. There's so many good players up still. And this is what we talk about. All these players always get into these end games. Here Tux. goes Tux. They're going down a little bit. They they're have a launch pad still. They, they're not using it yet. Just joining up with Mitro and Kuna right now. There's still so many players here. We're watching everything rotate. Now all the builds go through. Everybody's with the tunnels here. What a great view. <laughs> Honestly, this looks fantastic. Nikov just got knocked by a rocket launcher, got the damage from it, but still alive. Now Mitro reloading that rocket launcher, getting that. This is it. This is that moment. The they need to try to push for hard. No, they're not going to do it. They're just going to knock him down. They have another opportunity later. Remember, he has one more rocket at least. And there, all the explosives on the mid ground. This is going to be really risky now for provoking Tux up on high ground. A lot of players being eliminated right now. All those explosives are paying off for being held in the inventory for the late game. Provoked still on the high ground with Tux together. There's nice that. synergy. They have really well, po good position to, to, to have a free shooting range. Yeah, and Saf and Zay are still up right now. They use both of their rifts, right? But this is just chaos down on low ground. It's actually going to go quite up on high ground. Vinny here trying to take this last even, but he has no map, so he's going to be in trouble going over this. If he, he needs to get elimination, no, he goes down. He whips this shot. Tucks and provokes still on high ground, but guess who's there? Zay and Saf again, but Zay gets knocked down. Nine Eight. players remaining. Remember. Take this is it. High ground is so key here. Provoked and Tux just taking all the shots they can. They're getting right to it. Zayt's still up. It's also the VP player, S7 SSK7, against Provoked and Tux. So it's a 2v1v1. It's going he, down to the wire here. He found the time to reload that heavy sniper. Might be crucial to replace a the wall. There. There's another kill. SSK on Zayt. It's all up to SSK7 to stop Provoked and Tux here. They're on a tear. They have four Elans to their name. They're looking for the last one. SSK7, we'll see what he's able to do. Does not have his teammate, so he's got to clutch up big. Here goes Provoked from two sides. He does Nice shot. shot! And he's gonna finish it here! Yes! Oh my! Tux gets him! The nice pinch there, Lothar. That's exactly what you want to do in those endgame situations.